In this tutorial, we're going to optimize our PDF settings inside of PowerPoint. To begin, make sure that you're in the PowerPoint program. Once you're in PowerPoint, navigate under the PowerPoint menu to Preferences. Inside of Preferences, you should see a tab that says Authoring and Proofing Tools that should appear. This is where you'll find the general settings, and inside the general settings is where you'll actually go to adjust the print quality and PDF settings. It's very important to understand that high quality is not necessary most of the time, um, and that this will have a huge impact on the file size itself. So I recommend usually setting that to a lower quality. In this example, what we're going to do is we're going to save this mock-up PowerPoint slide. Go ahead and save it as a PDF, and this will be our high quality example here. So I'm going to name this high, and we'll export this. We're going to go ahead and repeat this step, but this time we're going to change our settings, and we'll go ahead and set the uh, print quality to low quality. This is going to allow us to compare the file sizes. Navigate out and do a save as. We'll call this low and make sure that we save it as a PDF example again. We export and now I should have both file sizes. So let's go ahead and let's leave PowerPoint. I'm going to drag the files over here. Here is our high quality PDF. I'm going to use the key command command I to get info and what this is going to allow me to do is learn how large this file is under the general settings. So you can see that um, this is about 70 kilobytes on disk and this is our high quality file. If we compare this to the second file which is our low quality PDF I'm going to show you a different way. We'll go under the Find Your File menu to get info. Same as the Command I key. And you can see that just by changing the resolution uh, to low quality, we have cut down our file size substantially. This is the picture quality in the high setting. When we open up the low quality PDF, you'll notice that the picture quality is quite comparable to the high quality, except it's less than half the file size. I would encourage you to save at these lower quality settings. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. For more information, follow us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.